I have this DJI Osmo Mobile 2. It's a gimbal for a smartphone. It's been a long time since I've actually had it out in, in use, but it's no longer charging. It says it's trying to charge. The uh, little flashing light and the green light says it's charging, but it doesn't take a charge. So I've concluded that it's the, it's a battery pack issue. Um, I've seen some videos on YouTube where that said that if you hit it with a uh, stronger charge adapter, it would charge. But I've got it plugged in right now into my uh, DC charge panel here and all of those are QC3 outlets and I've tried several different cords so I'm fairly certain that it's the uh, battery packs and I'm gonna take it apart and try replacing it. I did order a new battery pack from Amazon which I am not 100% certain that it's the right one but I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna take this apart now and uh, see if the battery pack that's inside is the same physical you know, dimension. Electrically, I got the, the same uh, battery pack voltage and uh, milliamp hour rating. So, here we go. Okay guys, I'm ready to start. Here's my DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Uh, this is the battery that I ordered. It's a 7.4 volt, 2600 uh, milliamp hours, or 2.6 amp hours. It's not from DJI, I got it from Amazon, so I'll provide a link below in the description section. Uh, first things first, I need to open this handle. That's where the battery is. And I understand from different people that this is not an easy task. I've got a collection of tools here. I once replaced a, a battery on an iPhone, and it came with all these little tools. It's got, uh, I have to start trying and hope I can get it open the first try. So I saw most people got it started using a screwdriver. I was hoping to avoid doing that because I didn't want to mar the edges here. That it may be the only way to do this. Yep, I'm gonna get a screwdriver. Making progress. Phone pry tool is not nearly strong enough. So that gets put aside. I wonder if this one will be any better. Nope, doesn't feel like. Yeah, I think the screwdriver is the best option. By the way, folks, if you're a little squeamish about doing things like this, I suggest uh, you either find a shop that's willing to fix this, or you know, might, might have to just scrap it and get a new one. I'm not at all squeamish, so that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> three wires on here. The new one I got is just two wires, so I have to modify this to work with this. And I saw somebody that said that it uses two 3.7 batteries in series, but there is a center tap so that there's a plus and a minus 3.7. And I'm, I heard somebody say that the motors on here to go left and right are driven by plus and minus, um, with a zero being the midpoint. So I'm gonna take both of these apart and modify the new battery pack 
uh, to have the, to, to accommodate the three wires here. So that's next. I've got my soldering iron plugged in, waiting for it to heat up, and I'm going to cut this guy open and see what we got. So, it is an 18655K, 3.6 volt nominal, 2600 milliamp hour. And the one that I got, 7.4, which is 2 times 3.7, and uh, 2600 milliamp hours. They're pretty much identical in size, and it should fit right in. Just gotta modify the wiring. This is like surgery, guys. There's the tape. I'm gonna unsolder this. So this was on the, or the midpoint of the two batteries in series, yes. There's a mosquito chamber. Okay. okay. I've got this thermocell mosquito repellent. It uses a, a repellent liquid inside here, and it's battery operated and rechargeable. And turn it on, and it emits a little mist. Or, smoke, so to speak, and it's supposed to keep mosquitoes away. I don't know for sure if it works or not, so I have it. I'm going to use it. Let's see if I get too many bites. <laughs> okay, back to the surgery. Off the tape. Oh, I think I'll take my voltage measurements. Got my digital multimeter and it's an automatic thing. Power it on. 3.559 and that's reading 3.57. So there's 3.7, 3.5 rather. And now I'm going to check the voltage on the new battery pack that I got. And it is reading 7.25. So that's 3.6. So that's fairly, it's probably charged halfway. So it should work when I put that into the DJI gimbal. Okay, next I'm gonna take the remaining two leads off. Like that. You can't just toss these into the trash. You need to take them to a recycle center or I think Staples will take it back. And some Staples will actually give you a $5 store reward credit if you turn in used tech like old battery packs. So that's what I'm gonna do. And now moving on to the new pack. Since I know this is the right voltage, I'm just gonna cut it over. That. Looks like it's got a BMS on it. Okay, I'm gonna bypass that BMS circuit board and just just use the two leads because I need this as the center tap and that plus and minus. So this is plus, this is minus, and this is center. And first, I'm gonna take the leads off. Was a big mistake guys. I almost create I did create a spike flame. I don't know if the video caught that. But I tried to snip both of these together at the same time. But that's a big no-no. So I'm gonna cut this one here. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut the 
this one. Check the voltage. I hope I didn't really fry this battery. 7.25. Okay. 3.6. Minus 3.62. Okay, I think the battery is gonna be okay. Wow. Okay guys, so as I was explaining, if you happen to get something like this and you need to cut those that uh, little board off. <laughs> Don't do as I did, just uh, snip these guys one at a time and you will avoid the fire that I created. And there's a piece of paper tape that's protecting them. So that's, oh shoot, again, don't let these leads touch. Okay, I decided to take that piece of paper, the taped paper off and just get a little closer into the battery itself because I think that flame really uh, damaged the the tin strip here. So here it's sticking nicely. And the reason I'm doing it on this is because I heard that you don't want to get too much heat on the actual contact of the battery itself. So I'm trying to do it on the tabs here as far away from the battery as possible. But I have to have a good clean strip of uh, that tab to attach the wires. That'll work. Oh, lovely. This was spot welded and I just ripped it right off. Okay, now I have to stay solder right onto here. Great. Let's see if I can get this one off without breaking it off. I'll hold it with this piece, with this needle nose. I do that first time. Okay. The other reason for doing it this way is I didn't want to spend fifty dollars for a spot welder just to do this. Okay, that might do it. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. So next, I have to attach the wires. I don't need a heat shrink on here because it goes right up to the battery. Now, folks, I know there are people out there, some of you will say, hey, you're not supposed to hit that end with a soldering iron, but in this case, I had no choice because I managed to rip off the top of the tab. So it may have degraded the battery somewhat, but it's uh, part of the bricks that I'm gonna have to live with, okay? So please be, uh, be kind in your comments. <laughs> okay, here we go. Going to sleep on here. Touch this wire. We need to shrink the tubing now. plug it in and trick the unit into reach to resetting. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick and come back. Okay folks, so it is charging. Whereas before, only that first dot was flashing. Now it's going one, two, one, two, one, two. So I believe that means it's charging and 
and uh, in a minute I'm going to just try turning on the power. I'll, I'll unplug it and try turning on the power. Okay, here we go. Power on. And it works. Okay, success. Power off. Okay, I'm going to go uh, put it back together now. I think we're, we've been successful. Okay, now that I've tested the battery, I can close it back up. I don't have any double-sided tape, so maybe I'll just put it in like this and close it up. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Now, I saw somebody online that did this to ease the scraping or the nits that the screwdriver left by scraping the burrs. terribly bad. I do see a gap here where I first pried it with the uh, screwdriver. I missed that on the scraping. So that concludes my repair of my DJI Osmo Mobile 2 uh, handheld gimbal for my smartphones. The battery had gone dead or it wouldn't take a charge and so I replaced the battery pack. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to click on the uh, subscribe button if you haven't already or is it down here? I can never remember these things. I think it's on... Ah, anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And remember, uh, if you decide to do it, I've got a link down below in the descriptions for the battery pack on Amazon. Um, and in this video, in this repair, I also used my new rechargeable multimeter. It's fully digital, it's automatic, and I'll put a link for that down below as well. It's also on Amazon. And of course, a soldering iron, uh, which I think any hobbyist should really have and a few tools. The tool that finally got me to open that, or allowed me to open that, is a regular flathead screwdriver uh, and one of the uh, stiffer uh, automotive pry tools. But other than that, it was fairly straightforward. The, uh, the two leads on the end of the battery that I tried to snip together, bad idea. Please don't make that mistake <laughs> that I did. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.